This review is a bit different to the others in regards that I usually start off not liking it and then become to like it. Well, this review, I loved it and now I just like it. Let's see. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Bitmill and this week I've been using the iStick Rim by Eleaf. So let's get straight into some information directly about the kit. First of all, the mod is 81mm by 36mm by 30mm. Then the tank is 57 including the drip tip by 26 or 28 if you include the bubble glass. The mod holds 3000 milliamp power battery obviously. The tank holds 2ml of liquid or 4ml if you hold have the bubble glass. I haven't got the bubble glass. I have got it does come with a spare though. Spare glass I mean. The thing I usually like about uh, this, especially on the pictures which you might have seen running about, the bubble glass comes with built-in bands. It's got like three or four built-in rubber bands which I think is cool and it looks cool. It saves you having to faff about with other bands that move and are all faffy. It looks cool. I think it still looks cool without it but it looks much cooler with it has a 510 drip tip and a standard screw size as always. The colours are Wilderness, Macaron, Darkness, this is Darkness, E Green and Maze. Obviously it feels cool, it, it holds in your hand quite nicely no matter how you want to hold it. And there's something that I used to like on the rim, you can just squeeze because the button extrudes just nicely in your hand. So you don't need to press the button, you can squeeze it if you like. A big thing for me straight off was it's got a C charger USB-C. Which I suppose it's just as times go, people obviously need to get rid of roll stock before they start bringing the new stock. But I now like that we're back to having a standard charger for your phones and for your vapes. It was quite annoying having a USB-C phone charger and a normal micro USB for my vape. This little beauty, that's not a problem. Something I do like about the mod, I mean, my my old Wizmake went up to 250, 300, I can't remember which. My current Wizmake goes up to something like 220. And they all seem to constantly go up in increments of 0 0.1. And that really annoys me because if I'm hitting at 180 like I usually do, then why would I need to put it 180.1? You know, you just put it up in, one, in increments of 1 unit, guys. Right now, right now that lab is passed, I just put it up in increments of one unit guys and this does that perfectly so below 20 it goes up in 0 0.1 increments above 20 it goes up in increments of one which is awesome another good point I've found about this is the liquid pretty much instantly soaked into the coil I, I'm a bit of a cheat and you might say it's bad for your coils and whatnot usually when I first put a new coil in I fill my tank I turn the air, air, airflow down Sucked to pull the liquid from. On this, I did that, and I found there were no balls going up, and I thought that's a bit strange. So after like two minutes, I had a hit, and there were no dry hit. It pretty much instantly wicked, which I think is really good. Obviously, I'm not telling you guys to buy one, put liquid in it, and bid it straight away. Still give it the time to soak in, but I am really impressed. On that, I've also had a dry hit. We'll get to that later, but as soon as I put the liquid in, instantly no dry hit, as sometimes it phases out. This bang straight in no drapes again i think that is pretty well good going i'm not quite sure what the difference is or what we've done different but i do like that feature another thing i do like about this is that as i saw this i think you're on a picture in the manual and i thought yeah i only tried it out this morning usually you change your coil like that however because of how the tank's built watch it leak all over me if you take your coil out at the bottom you see it's got full tank and there is no leaking. Obviously if you check it about a bit and whatnot, it's going to come out. But that is ideal for when you're changing your coil when you've got pretty much a full tank. Because I always find it worse. I mean customers come in all the time, they're like, oh my coil's burnt out. And I end up pouring all, all the liquid down my arm and whatnot as I try and sac uh, save it. And I think that's pretty damn cool. The fact that you don't have to faff about, do it upside down or worry about your liquid leaking all over. 
However, like I said, I wouldn't try and push that because it will leak at some point, obviously. Now, if you watch the unboxing, you'll know that a point of that, the refill is you lift up. I don't know if you, how well you can see it, but you, you lift the top and then slide, which is good. I always like the locking systems, and that's quite elegant. It has a lip fill. And the first time I saw one of them was on the Reacts kit. And it was a bit awkward on the Reacts, but with this it's quite loose, it's easy to fill. But, in the box, they also send you a spare one of them, and a not lip sealed one, so it's just open. Which I think is extremely cool, but they give you the choice to choose. They're not forcing you to use an anti-leak uh, rim, they're giving you the option. Which I think is wonders because a lot of people don't like it and on the ice stick rim I'd have preferred, not on the ice stick rim, sorry that's this one. On the Reacts I'd have liked that choice. So thanks for that Elif. Now I've said it's got a 3000 milliamp hour battery life. Now when you tell me it's got integrated battery, 3000 milliamp hour, I kind of go great. I best take my own model now. Now this little beast, this little beast. I've been using it quite quite a lot. I've been busy, so I haven't been using it uh, perhaps as frequently as I should. But I will tell you that it lasts a day easily, and for me, that's pretty amazing. I go through six batteries a day. Guns are usually at 180 watts, but I've been firing this at. Bear in mind, that's a good point to hit on. I usually fire at 180 watts. This beast, I've been using it at about 29, 35 watts. Turn the airflow, open the airflow back up. Now obviously that's not as much vape as I usually get, but it satisfies me, it fulfills me. I've tried it with a lemon twist watermelon, and I've tried it with USA Berg, uh, whatever it's called. And both of them, you get amazing flavour out of this tank. This tank is super for flavour, especially at 29 watts. I'm in a 0.6 coil, really good flavour, really good. it's quite a surprising amount of vape outputage. I mean if we go up to 35 a bit. The airflow on it's amazingly well. Even when you take it down, you still get quite a decent airflow off it. Which I suppose a few of you won't like because you can't turn it down to mouth to lung. But I like it. It's, it's ticking all the right boxes for me. And it's perfect. I think a lot of people use pods for night arts and stuff, but this is really a really good alternative instead of using a pod system. So for 30, uh, 3000 milliamp hour battery, it charges. Not only does it use USB C, but it charges in about half an hour to 45 minutes. That is really fast charging for a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And it also tells you fast charge. So if you put a 2 ohm charge on it, which I've been doing, I've been using my phone charger, then it comes on saying quick charge. Or if you put a 1 amp hour, obviously it'll just charge normal and take a little bit longer. So when you do a calculator, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, use it 28 watts, you're going to get 28 minutes. So what does that 20, People always say then, 20, 24 minutes isn't a lot of time. Well it is because you don't puff for a minute, it's not 24 drags. So, 24 minutes is 1440 seconds of drag time. But what does that mean? So if you take a 3 second drag, which is a nice decent size of vapour, you're going to get 480 hits. Come on, that, that, that's a decent dragging for a battery. Uh, actually, it's for me, and I'm not going to tell you I, I haven't used my Wizmec because I have. I always take my Wizmec wherever I go, no matter what I'm reviewing. Even when I took the Meshman, Mechman, sorry, I still use my. Uh, I still have my Wizmec with me, although I didn't use it that week because I was free to do what I wanted. But I still did it with me. So, down to the menu. Down to the menu, you press volume uh, up and power at the same time. When it gets into your menu, you'll see that you've got pictures, which always puts me off a little bit. It's like a uh, pre-smartphone era where you had to go through the menu and decipher what things meant. And in the menu, you have sub-parameters, stealth mode, preheat, timeout, version, and battery. I did that well. What you probably noticed is there are one less. The pre isn't on this menu. Now, I've seen videos and it definitely does come on some. However, I found my supplier this morning and I'm like, dude, there's no pre. It's like, yeah, there is. It's third, third one along, fourth icon. Press up three times. And I said, no, dude, seriously, it's not on there. And I sent him a picture and he went, oh, wow, it's not on there. 
So then I said, well, maybe it's a firmware update, and he, he agreed. And just before doing this video, we agreed I'd do a firmware update and then get back to him. However, I went on eLeaf's website, and there is no firm, firmware update for the iStick Rim. So now I'm going to phone him, but it's a different country, and, and I'm not faffing about like that, wasting my minutes. So I'll send him an email after this video inquiring about it, and I'll drop the update below. But yeah. So that, that, that's quite a nag of mine, the fact that it's missing a feature that the manual quite clearly states it's got and that it's advertised to have. So I'm, unfortunately guys, I ain't been able to review that function. It's, you have to try it yourself, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do about that. If, if I've still got my mod in my possession and they've replied in time, so if you've replied before next Tuesday, I will have a go I and mean, an update on the description below again but currently at this very second I can't do anything sorry guys another feature bugbear it's got dry burn protection now whenever someone says to me it's got dry burn protection I go oh wow that's amazing how the hell does that work then so I've tried it two or three times I'll, I'll try it on snapchat over there killing it killing it killing it and the tank gets low and it, it dies. And the, the manual says you have to fill it between 10 and 90 watt, 10% uh, and 90% fill the tank. Make sure the dry burn protection doesn't work above 30 watts. So I've been hitting it at 29 watts and the tank empties and it dry burns. Awkward. So then I thought, well, maybe I'm, I'm misunderstanding. Maybe you activate the dry burn by filling the tank between um, 0 and 30 watts, 10% uh, and 90%, and then you get the tank at uh, mod below 30 watts and you fire away. Now, I still haven't managed to get a dry burn because it, it's supposed to come up on the screen dry burn protection and cut out. However, I ain't got that, but what I will tell you is you can hit this beast all day long and not get a dry burn. Don't test me on that but look seriously I got nicotine rush oh god I got nicotine rush I feel so high oh my god And still, no dry burn. That is pretty good going, guys. Um, I, I'm, I'm amazed. I, will, I also forgot to tell you on the parameters, you, that, that means you can change the setting underneath your homage. You can change it to puffs. You can change it to volts or... Oh, I forgot what else. Probably because of a nicotine rush. Anyway, more of a story. I like it. I love it. But I'm not really relying on the features as a going out mod or even a day to day mod. It's great for a starter that's just introduced to some boom. Love it, get it, buy it, win it on our giveaway this week. It is awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. But yet again, the features have let me down, I'm afraid. Which is gutting because I said from the very first moment I unboxed it that I'm going to like it. And I do. But come on. What, what's the current with the features, guys? It's giveaway time! Right, the Mechman winner is you, Ford for 150 slash Angular. Congratulations. Me message me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat to talk about postage. And for the rest of you, we are now giving away the iStick Rim. Yes, to one of you lucky commenters. The terms and conditions are below. All you have to do is comment. You will have to pay for postage, I'm afraid. Sorry. Unless you're collecting it. Good luck, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm really grateful for every single one of you. My YouTube channel is going faster than I ever expected it to. I mean, I expected 200 in 10 years, never mind in just a couple of weeks. So thank you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell. Thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook. Instagram, 
Snapchat. Cheers, guys. Stay cloudy. Hi, guys. It's me again. Always forget something. This week, I am using, for next week's review, the Hugs Vape Lotus RTA. As requested by my man Chain Vapes on Instagram, he reckons it's overlooked. It's not new, I think it's about a year or two old. He reckons it's overlooked and it gets amazing flavour out of it. So we're going to unbox it tomorrow, wick it on Friday, well, do a wicking tutorial on Friday, and then review it on Tuesday, and then it'll go for giveaway. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, stay cloudy!